Greetings everyone, Bansal Kram Music here. This video is part of my quick tip series. These are mini tutorials which will increase your knowledge as a sound designer and generally help you get the most out of your VPS Avenger. Some of these tips which I'm going to show you are not actually in the manual, like this one. I'm going to talk today about the mod matrix and specifically a parameter called MIDI polyphonic count. And essentially what this does is to count the number of voices which you are triggering. How could this be useful? Well, let's take it for a test run on one of my pads, Council of the Wise. Let's just hear it first. Okay. Let's add MIDI polyphonic count to the mod matrix here. Click on the plus button, go down to MIDI, and then go across to MIDI polyphonic count and left click. And there you can see it's added here. Let's zoom in properly on it. It's asking me to select a target. We could think of it this way. What happens if you trigger more voices in a particular patch? Well, the first thing that could happen is um, that you trigger more frequencies in a particular range. For example, if you trigger up the octave range, uh, you could have an increase in the number of high frequencies. And therefore, to get rid of those high frequencies would be good. And that might involve an action on the cutoff filter. However, in this case, let's be thinking in terms of volume. The more keys you trigger, the more voices you trigger, the louder a sound gets. And so what we could do is to link the MIDI polyphonic count to the volume. Okay, so let's do that. We click on the six dots next to the MIDI polyphonic count bar and drag it all the way up to the volume on the amplitude envelope and then release. Let's dial in a value for the MIDI polyphonic count to begin with. Let's make it arbitrary. Let's see about this. And now let's look to see what happens to the volume knob here as I trigger the keys. Okay, let's trigger the keys one by one and see what happens to the volume. It's one key. I'm actually saying here in the modern matrix is lower the volume based on the number of voices I am triggering, if that makes sense. Let's have a closer look though to see what's happening. You can see that as I'm increasing the number of voices, increasing the number of keys which I press, the volume is jumping down in steps. We want it to jump down more smoothly than that. So what can we do? So what we could do is click on the lag here, click and drag upwards, to make the steps more smooth. Now let's go back up to the volume envelope and see what happens. You can see that as I press the keys, as I trigger the voices, the volume decreases smoothly. And as I release the keys, the volume goes down smoothly as well. Okay, I hope that's been helpful today. Today we've learned about MIDI polyphonic count and how it can be useful inside Avenger. Okay, hope you found it helpful. If you have, click subscribe and the like button and look out for more quick tips, sound design tutorials and music sketches. See you next time. Cheers. Cheers.